Well, if you remember, I said I was not going to talk about politics. Wasn't going to bring it up. Going to shy away at all costs. No politics on the program. You know, if you would like, you could push that little button there on the side of your screen. Turn the monitor off. And you would have yourself a radio show. <laughs> From here on the East Coast, Arkansas today. Man. That move is still ongoing. That's all I'm going to say about that move. I was a talking to the parrot. Isabella, say, say hello to Isabella the parrot. I think she's, uh, she was born on the 4th of July, best I could tell on her lineage. The uh, 4th of July, I believe, was, was the month, day, and all. Uh, the year was in question and did a little number, uh, arithmetic and came up that she's probably 21 years old uh no 22 uh 21 a year ago so we was talking politics it's an easy bird to talk to uh politics with because she's not said a word since uh since i've been blessed with the with the, with the parrot i've not she's does not said anything nothing zero i like the bird and um, that's all I'm going to say about that bird. <laughs> okay, uh, I was watching that State of the Union the other day is what prompted that politic side trip. And Obama, he said everything was going to be all right for the next couple of years. So status quo just carry on in an orderly manner i think uh, uh, according to that speech everything's okay that's all i'm gonna say about them politics um far side chat just kind of how was a read missing on today's uh Oh, it's been, uh, I'll tell you what, I one time, if you remember, made reference to my day most, most of the time, and it didn't start till late today, about 4 o'clock, I think, uh, maybe 4.30, uh, the day got better, you know, you know what I mean, and uh, I got a lot done since then. I ain't done nothing all day, but the majority of it was in the evening. Because what happened is I was in yonder yard to the rear, back there where the lights land, where them landing lights is at on that fence, and they're too close to the house, and I can't get enough back there. That's a reason. That's one of the that was up there like number eight or nine on the list of reasons to make a move to a bigger property was, uh, I, I don't think my landing lights along that fence, I, I don't think I don't think they're long enough. I don't think you can see them from high enough out of space. If you're looking down on them lights on that fence, or just the mere footage, you know what I mean. It's not no mile down through there. By no means, but part of that mile. <clears throat> it's the blank spaces that really matters on visibility. I'm sure you will agree, uh, Pirate. Uh, the little, the monkey, that missing monkey, if you remember, he remains in the shop. <laughs> Man, I have made no attempt to break that shop building down yet. We may spend some time out there tomorrow. But that's what happened today. I went out there, I got a trailer load of crap. I mean, it's scrap iron, you know. It's too good to throw away, but too good to scrap. Um, it's that mid-grade stuff. You got to have it for repairs later. And I shoved it all out of that building. And, and then I took a break and 
<laughs> that's uh once the break was over you know and you have to take a break occasionally you know man that's all I got to say by that you know you can work yourself to death you got to take a break you know my but I, I did I, I didn't get nothing done well I did I, I got some I did some stuff but you know what I mean. I put in a full day. That's all I can say. You know, if, if the man says, what did you do today? I can say, sir, I put in a full day. I didn't expect to get done what I got done. Absolutely nothing. I intended to do something this morning. Lord. The, the parrot knows it. <laughs> I'm sure. She was right there with me. I, I could, I, well, and the matter was that I was blessed with a book to read later, motorcycles. I was blessed with that. But other than that, I think it's going to rain tomorrow. You know, I'll have to do some to torch work. Hey, 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 hey. Watch this. Uh, it was just a test. That's all. Pass on. Leave a comment. Um... Forgot that one. Leave a comment. No, I didn't. I remembered it. <laughs> I was just fooling with your intelligence. And we and, 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 and a friend came by today I hadn't seen in several years, and we did have a discussion about intelligence. And if I may field it to the world, one of the questions that came up during the conversation was, which is most important? Uh, in the realm of intelligence, which is the most important? Book learning, knowing how to do something as compared to experience. Learning how to do something by doing it wrong, you know, and figuring out how to do it right. And then when you got it figured out how to do it right, and you compared it to the book, you were spot on. Okay, that kind of learning as compared to the person that only had the book and actually knew what the book said. Oh, it's a vast distance between book learning and experience. Hands on. You know what I mean? You you can know that that you you you, you can know that, that dial goes round and round and round. Um uh, but if you don't have that hands-on experience, you, you won't know, know how much tension is on that, how hard it is to turn, or how freely it turns. You, you won't know that. And, and that's where, with experience, you, you will know what ratio and horsepower, how much power it takes to turn it in order to produce a good whatever you're doing. As compared to the person that only knows the book, when, when they don't know that, so they are going to go at it a little harder on the get-go. It could cause problems. Okay, the guy that learned it by experience, he done already caused that problem and fixed it and went on and knows not to do that. So... Even the duct tape girl recently. Yeah. Let's just say that life, it's that good. Let's just say it's that good and pass on. 
take that for whatever it is. You be the judge. The duct tape girl, just imagine it. Just imagine it there. A little mind movie for yourself. <laughs> ah, Lord bless her heart. Just imagine. Just imagine. I say good night, Perry. Hey, say good night. Well, uh, just as I suspected, not a word. From here on the East Coast, start. Oh, what I was going to tell you. See, I didn't forget that. You thought I did. You had thought that I did. Watch this. Uh, I was watching the the duct tape girl. That's what. That's what the reference was. I was watching the television, and the duct tape girl tipped me off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, and you you all you all you all see? Can you see me? You all see me now? Like that? Uh, you 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 know them guys makes them duck whistles. You know you 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 blow that whistle, and them ducks comes flying in. in your near vicinity them guys okay they doing a commercial now for some uh i'm not sure what the product is i, I didn't see the guy he, he's hid he got he got on his camouflage stuff and he's hid okay j can, just imagine this can y'all see me now can y'all see me now Leave a comment from you on the East Coast, Arkansas. Shop dog Sam. Can't see me, can you? <laughs>